Hey, what's going on, folks? How are you guys doing today? What is going on? Welcome back to the Farm Sim Show. Boom. There we go. Let's turn this down just a touch. Good morning. Whatever, whatever time it is for you, welcome back. We're looking at new mods once again today. We've got uh, six new mods for PC or for all consoles. Console, PC, uh, Mac. Everybody's got six new ones, and we have one new mod for PC. We've got a couple of updates as well. Nothing too, too crazy. Uh, a little bit quieter than after the last uh, couple of days. So I'm going to try and crash through these mods as fast as we can. We'll see how that works out. A quick overview of what they all do. Go Brownwater. DJ Goham. <laughs> How's it going, my friend? Uh, if you guys have any questions, I will try to interact with you guys in chat. But we're going to try and push through these a little bit quicker than yesterday. I think we're in 40 minutes. If we can do this under 20. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> all right. Let's, uh, let's dive in and take a quick look and see what we've got going on. Boom. All right. How are you guys doing? You guys having a good day? DJ, how are you, my friend? Good to see you. What's the cow barn for? I don't know what it's for. <laughs> I don't know what it's for. Uh, there we go. So we've got our five mods, uh, four, or sorry, six mods for uh, everyone at the top here. You can see we've got the lizard cattle, tray, or the lizard low loader. We've got a new cultivator, the lizard cutter set. These are fantastic. Uh, the cattle ranch, seat fold, and some flags. And then lastly, for PC only, the onion greenhouses. As for updates, we've got a couple of the EB70 pack. Interesting little trailer. I do like the auger on this one anyways. It's got a smiter update. The disc hero, the M402 has got an uh, update. And as well, seasons for Nord Trundelag. Is that correct? I have no idea if that's right. <laughs> anyways, it's got an update. That's it for updates though. So everything else, fairly straightforward. Uh, let's jump in. I want to take a look at each one of these mods quickly. Let's see if I can get this up and running. Uh, blammo. There we go. That's better. And uh, we'll take a look and see each one of these mods individually. You see how they work. Quick show off in the store, all that fun stuff. Won't go to boxes for another hour. Excellent, my friend. Good to see. <laughs> all right, jump over into game. Um, we'll start over with the trailer. So the lizard tri axle low loader. I think I saw someone chatting about this beforehand. Nice trailer, actually. Especially yeah, for nice that it's available to everybody. Um, a lot of details to it. I mean, look at the front here. All sorts of details. Of course, you're gonna get coloring options for all the standard lizard colorings, or you can have the DJ Goham edit and get absolutely any color you want in game. Um, this one here has got some ramps. There's a bunch of options available to it. We'll take a look at it, but I just wanted to show it off to you first off. The one interesting thing, well, there is a, a, a pin hitch on the back, but the one interesting thing I noticed was the time frame for once you connect to it. So I'm going to back the truck up to it, connect, and wait. I'm still waiting, still connecting. There it goes. So the time frame is like really delayed. Hey, Nathan, how's it going? Um, and now let's see if we can uh, lower down the rear those ramps. Let's see if I've, I've hit it. I think I've, I've hit it. There it goes. There's one. And wait for the second one. Wait for the second one. Come on, let's go. <laughs> there it goes, finally. I have not touched anything for a good probably 10 to 15 seconds. That's how long it took. <laughs> it took forever. Um, I like it. It's just it takes so long. <laughs> and then you get the squeaky noises. I hope you guys are hearing the squeaky noises you get from it as well as everything's moving around. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Excellent. Last stream yesterday doesn't work. Oh, well, sorry, Obi. I'm not sure what happened there. I'll have to take a look at this one today. Um, you do have some beacons on the back, which is kind of nice. Or one beacon, I should say. Got a bunch of lights. Looks good. I don't know. I like the look of it. It's European styling for sure, of course. Long vehicle. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. Take a look at this work quickly at this bad boy. Let's see. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Low loaders. You're going to find it down there at the end. 18500 your base price, of course. Like I said, rim colors as well as your main color. You have options for pretty much everything you can think of there for as far as your lizard colorings go. Uh, standard designs, let's take a look. So there's our low loader, regular. You can go with the extensions. Um, a bale trailer extension, no ramp. Uh, what else, is that it? I think that's it, yeah, that's it. So you have, yeah, no ramp, ramp, or the bale extension on the front. Kind of interesting, you got a couple options there. Depending on what you want to go with, I think it looks all right. And then of course, registration, you can get rid of that. Um, yeah, there's nothing North American, unfortunately, really. I, what is that? Is that North American? Is that Idaho? Is that what I see? I can't zoom in anymore. I guess there is I guess there is a North American. I think it's Idaho plate, isn't it? Anyways. Uh, and then as wheels, you have a couple different wheel options. Not a lot. Was that just the two? Yeah, just the two. There you go. So there you go. There's the low loader. Not bad. Um, I do like it, but what I'm more excited about are these headers. Now, we do have... I've been using some MacDon headers from... They're on PC World, basically. Uh, I've been using those for quite a while. The epic triple raid last night. Did I miss it? Oh, no. Uh, it is Idaho. Thanks, DJ. 
these headers are awesome. Um, I've got some Mac Don headers that I've been using. They're, they're pretty good headers, but these ones have kind of replaced that. Now there's also, there's a smaller version and a larger version, of course, and they are the Draper headers, but now you got them in colors and schemes for pretty much any kind of uh, harvester. So we have a John Deere, which we didn't have before as well. I've got a new Holland one right here, which is pretty good. I like this. So uh, I'll just take a look in the store and then we'll go hook it up to a new Holland here in a sec. But uh, where's our headers? Where's our headers? Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da Boom. And right down at the very end. So it's a Draper header. There's our, our Case Terraflex 45 foot. Now you've got both a 900 and a 45 foot Draper header that are for pretty much any brand. So you can go in, it's gonna start off with this kind of ugly green. I think it's more of a cloth color. Is that a Fenton color? I don't even know. But uh, let's go change it. You can change the de the uh, decals or the decals on the side of it. And you can change it to whatever you want for the most part. I mean, all the major brands are in here. From the class, uh, John Deere, Massey Ferguson, whatever you like. And then change the coloring to be respective of that. So for our John Deere, of course, you've got your John Deere colors. Oh, there's a Dutes. Wrong one, wrong one. And same with your design color. Actually, you can really make that ugly if you really wanted to. I think that's a that's a, a beep beep coloring going on. We can get some really good colors going. Anyway, so both of these headers are exactly the same as far as that goes. Uh, lots of options, but 89,000, 58,000 respectively. Let's go grab. I'm going to pull this out a touch. In case you haven't seen a Draper header properly, actually, let me just pull this right out. I'm sure you guys have. But in case you haven't, I just want to hook it up to, well, the New Holland because we haven't had a chance to hook up a New Holland. Go, 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 go. I'm gonna pull this thing out of here because it's kind of jammed inside. Oh, I'm gonna grab the wrong one. I'm gonna grab the wrong one. Come on. Grab it. Grab it. Oh, you. You know what? I can't see it. I forgot. I've got I've got this all off. There we go. Let's see which one did I grab? Did I grab the right one? Oh, I did. Nice. Good. I was, I was worried I was gonna grab the wrong one there. <laughs> Let's spin this thing around. I mean, that looks good. I like that. That is fantastic. Come on, grab on. It's not grabbing onto that. It should be grabbing onto that. I just grabbed onto it a second ago. What did I break? There we go. Thank you. And now you can get rid of the wheels. That is so good. Um, yeah, there you go, guys. I like that look. That's good. I like having a new Holland Draper header. That's fantastic. Very cool. Awesome. We'll leave this. Let's just pick this up. Move this out of the way. We'll keep on running down the line here. Come on, pick, pick up. Just want to pick you up maybe by there. There we go. We'll just pick this up. Throw it out of the way. Done. Nice. Uh, moving down the line. The Lemkin Vario Pack. We got a couple of disc carolers here. That's nothing too crazy, but they're, they're nice. One thing I do like about these, we got a size of two. And we'll take a look at them in the store quickly here. We've got where are they? Oh, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. Cultivators? The cultivator? Is that where it's under? There it is. You got a pack of two, 15,000, 23,000 separately there. Um, you're just distance. Four meters, six meters. Other than that, no real options. You can't change anything in them. They're, they are what they are. One nice thing to do with these, let's see if we can jump in the Veltra here. Just a little animation I like with this. I'll grab the small one. And we'll plug her in. Watch the tires in the, the bottom. The tires disappear. I like that. That's cool. I don't, I don't think I've seen that in any other mods. I don't know if you guys have. Let me know. I just haven't seen it before. Hey, Nicholson. What's going on, buddy? Sounds like your place. Have you got this on your playlist, DJ? I'm sure you do. Um, a bit of a slow animation. But you know what? That's, that's pretty realistic. But everything looks good. Looks good. Let's see if we can uh, raise this back up. You can't drop it down in the folded up position you have to fold it back up so i just hit the fold or the drop position there and it automatically folded for me i'm not doing anything else here it's gonna drop no it's not even gonna drop now there we go and the tires automatically pop up underneath again anyways i thought that was kind of a cool little mod um just a little touch to it i don't use those too often but that's a, a decent one for sure all right so that's pretty much it for the vehicle mods that we had there's a couple other ones i'll talk about a little later that are pc only but we'll leave those alone for now Excellent. So we got some placeable objects as well. The cattle ranch and the sheep fold also came out today, which we got back here. That's for the front. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. I just like the fact that the wheels come or the tires drop underneath of it. Um, sheep folds on our right. It's a sheep fold. I don't know what you guys want to see on this one, but it's exactly as you'd expect. It does have openable doors. Boom. There we go. Doors open. 
Uh, there's no lights in this particular building. I thought there was. It's, it's the cattle one that does. You got a little bit of a storage area back here. Still no lights, but the, oh wait, wait, lights are in this one. There we go. I thought there was lights in here somewhere. This door does open. I've opened it before. There we go. So a little bit of a storage area. Um, feeds inside. Can we get up top? I didn't try to go up top in, in here. Let's go. Go, go, go. Come on. There we go. Um, I don't know what you want to put up here. You can put something up here. <laughs> try and drag some hay, uh, hay bales up top. Yeah, it looks good. It's a bit small. Like, I mean, how many how many sheep could you possibly fit in here? I like I like bigger fields, but it it's got some nice textures. I like the fact the doors all open. You've got your trough right here. I didn't try to fill the trough up from this side. I'm sure you can, but I never tried to bring it on this side of the fence. But there you go. That's the sheep fold. It is a standalone. The cattle ranch, is, on the other hand, is over here, and it comes with five buildings. So you've got the uh, the, the cattle pasture itself, which we've got all our cows in. Hey, buddy, jump on you here for a sec. And it has got like cattle guards here going in. You've got your troughs on the inside. And you've got doors that open up on both sides. And this here actually, I think, which one is it? One of these ones is, I think this is it on this side, is it? Yeah, this is the point right here. This here is the, uh, the, the unloading side. I tried it on the other side. I don't think it works on this side off the top of my head. No, it's just the one side is the load unload. Just be aware of that. It's over on the one side. It's on the side with the slurry. You got your slurry, of course, and then water over there. I don't know which one is water off the top of my head. One of these obviously is water. I haven't fully tested that out yet. And then, of course, you've got see the lights. You can kind of see lights on the outside. Actually, if you watch the cattle down the far end, <laughs> little disco tech light show going on down there. Nice. And then you got one on the inside as well for the interior lights. Looks good. Like that. That looks good. Um, it also comes with four other buildings. So. Let's start off down here. This we've got a small shed, and these buildings are all for the most part the same. They've all got lights that all work. Nice looking beams, nice looking structure. Uh, on the far side, you've got is it what are they calling this here? If I can get the name right, is this the? There it is. It's just a silo. Okay, they just call this the silo. So I guess you could store crops in here, some food in here. Um, I guess silage. Hey, I don't even know what else you want to store in here, but you can store a few things in here, of course. And then on the other side, just more of a garage structure. Same thing, you've got lights on the, did that, that turn on? Lights on the exterior, there we go. And you also have lights on the interior that are separate. A bunch of doors, you can kind of turn everything on and off. Uh, switches all over the place. A lot of uh, a lot of switches, so you can turn lights wherever, you, whatever door you go in and go out of, you can turn the lights on and off. <laughs> but there's quite a few buildings in this. And then last of all, right at the very end, you've got the house. Let's take a quick look. Um, not much to do with this. I, I turned it, I put it backwards. I thought this was the front when I placed it down because I couldn't tell. Uh, front is actually over here, I suppose. So there you go. Um, it's, it's just a brick house. You can technically go right there. There you go. Uh, it's well, technically a bunker silo. <laughs> is it technically a bunker silo? I suppose. <laughs> um, yeah, so there you go. That's a five pack. They're all in different spots inside your store. So uh, like I said, the silos in the silo, the shed you're going to find in the sheds as long as along with the hall as well, of course. Uh, let's see here. And of course the pen, you'll find in the pens. I mean, this isn't rocket science. Right there, cattle barn. There you go, you have it all. 200 cattle, uh, that's a good thing actually. 200 cattle and what does the pasture hold? 80 sheep, that answers that. So that's five pieces. The last placeable object we have for everybody is the flag. Hey Nathan, how's it going? So we, we got a flag as well. We got, of course, I've got the Canadian flag rocking right now. You guys know that's going to happen, right? <laughs> uh, it looks good. I like it actually waves. It's good. Now, if we go into our decorations, I'll pull that bad boy up. There you go. You can see it. International flags, 500 bones. We can go and place this down. So I'll put this down beside where I'm standing here so you can see that right there. Excellent. And where to go? Oh, I put it like right on top of myself. It starts off. Of course, it's going to start off with the American flag, of course. Uh, now, to change this, if we bring up our menu, you can see this. Uh, it doesn't work with, does it work with my, my joystick? I don't know if it does. There it does. Okay, it does too. Good. I wasn't sure. I, I did it with my mouse last time. And it's a bit finicky because my controls aren't going to be the same as what it shows, I don't think. Let's see. Is it this one? Is it this one? It, it does change with buttons. I know it works with my mouse. Let's do my mouse instead because I, I know what the keys are with my mouse, obviously. It seems like there's a bit of a delay. So I've hit it there. Let's see if it changes. Come on. Change. Change. Maybe. I know you want to change. 
Wow, now it's not changing for me. Look at this. It was changing. Oh, maybe because it's next flag. X and B on the control. Yeah, it, that's what I thought. Okay, there it goes. I was holding it and it wouldn't change, but I think I was missing the spot. So there you go. If I hold down the mouse button for me, let me try on the controller again. It wasn't working on my controller a second ago. Let's jump. There we go. It is working now. Thanks, DJ. Uh, yeah, if you tap it. No, see it now. Oh, no, it doesn't work. You definitely have to hold it down, though. You're right. If you don't hold it down, it doesn't change. But you have quite a few options there. So if you want to get your, your, your rock, your flag, then you're good to go. <laughs> uh, bad. That's funny. <laughs> I like it. Anyways, there you go. There's the flag. 500 bucks. Pretty straightforward. So that's it for uh, mods for console. Uh, we, the only mods we have left are PC only. And the only real one that was available in the mod hub today is the onion greenhouses. And with this one, you'd also need to have your global companies enabled. So if you want to use the onion greenhouse, you got to have global companies. So it's very similar to any of other mods it, or any other greenhouses, I should say. Oh, wow, look at this. I just, I already fired this up. So I just, all I've done is put water in this so far. It opens up. You've got, is that onions? Look at that. Let's pull this out of here. I didn't, huh, I haven't seen the onions pop out. There we go. So I've put water in. You can see we've got some, uh, we've got some onions already. There's no manure in there yet. So the rest of these haven't populated. I thought that they would. And most of the other greenhouse mods, as soon as you put water in, the whole thing populates. I'm kind of surprised that we only have one uh, one trough here or one one box. I thought for sure they would all populate, but I guess not. Anyways, that's fine. And then this is what you get out of it. So that's a thousand that's a thousand liters right there. I, like that's a small crate. I thought it would be right full. Interesting. Now we know. So once again, similar to the other greenhouses, you've got your water, you've got your manure, and that's all she wrote, guys. That's that's it. There's nothing to it. But make sure you got global companies. Oh look at that! It's already starting to populate again. Yeah, I'm on one time speed. This is pretty quick. I like I put this out literally probably within 30 minutes and we already had our first one. I have no idea what onions go for, but maybe we should find out. Cool. There you go, guys. That's all the new stuff that's been released. Like we talked about, there's three other mods that were updated as well, but uh, that's the new stuff. Now we do have, since it's a bit of a quiet day, I thought I'd check out a couple extra things very quickly here that were out on Mod Network. Uh, where is the mod? Boom, Mod Network. So if you guys are familiar with Mod Network, it's where I get a lot of my mods for PC that uh, they are available everywhere else, but I use Mod Network just because it's easy to download from them, I find, and, and safe and secure. Um, there was three mods that came out there today, and let's just bring it, I'll bring that up here. Back. Take a look at those. Where, where is it? Boom. There we go. Bow. Bow, bow. Perfect. So... I saw something in mods and testing, and we'll talk a little bit about that. The New Holland T6 is currently in testing for console. So I saw, found this one here that's been available that came out just today on the mod network. I don't know if it's the same. I don't know if it's NEFG that's doing it, but he released three today. So there's the New Holland T6, the Challenger MT500, as well as the Case IH Magnum. Um, so I downloaded all three of those, and they all look like they're pretty decent mods. I'd recommend taking a look at them if you have a chance. They're, uh, they're definitely nice. So we'll just bounce on over, take a quick look at them in game. I mean, I don't know what you guys think. I think they're all nice looking mods for sure. I mean, we both have, we have the case and the T6, of course, already. There's a few more options on each of these. They have the row crop tires to make it look a little nicer. Jbot is definitely in timeout. Um, the Challenger is something a little bit different. I don't think we have a Challenger that quite looks anything quite like this. It's, it looks good. I like it. It's all right. I don't think we have the MT5650, do we? I don't think we do. I think this is the first time I've seen it. So let's bounce in. We'll take a look at them in store. Um, you're going to find both the Challenge, I think the Challenger and, let's see if I got that right. Yeah, Challenger and the New Holland and Medium Tractors. Take a look at this. You can see there are quite a few options here. Configurations, weights, standard stuff, fenders you can change. Um, the engine setup, you can upgrade that to, what? how high do we go up here? 255? Goes up to from 185 to a 255. Uh, the roll crop tire is like, the way that these are set up on this is a little bit different, I find. There's the wide spacers on them. I do like the fact that they've managed to uh, align them properly. A lot of the ones that do these row crop tires don't align them like that. And you end up having like the fronts are offset and it doesn't really represent row crops properly. That one looks realistic at least. So, and these are all the same for all, all of these mods. That's same with the New Holland. Um, you have pretty much the same kind of options. Upgraded engines, the 175. Uh, the, it's got the front attacher, of course, when the, the other one does not. But then you also have your, du your duels. Doesn't have front duels. I thought it did. Oh, I didn't know that. Only, only rear duels. That makes sense. Uh, the, the New Holland has extremity signs, and I'll show you that, actually. I thought that was kind of interesting when I bounced into it. 
don't see too many that have these big, uh, which one is it? This one? Where is it? There it is. The extremity signs on it. I like that. You see a couple of them. Some of the John Deere's have that. You don't see a whole ton of them. Anyways, that's pretty cool. So there's three of those, the challenge of the case. Check out Mod Network if you guys are interested in uh, something a little bit different. I mean, we have most of these already. The Challenger, like I said, is a little different. We don't, I don't think I've seen this one uh, in anywhere it's been done properly before. So that's about it for that. Lastly, let's talk about mods in testing. What do we got for mods currently in testing? Boom. Uh, what are we at here? What am I seeing? Seeing 22 for PC currently, an 11 for console for everybody else. Um, Animal Food Pack, that's not released. The Bailey TB16, Remon BB, 18 BB. See here, I can't pronounce that word. The the, 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 the Gulian? Yeah, I'm not sure. The Green Silo System Herbicide, the John Deere 8 RT, which we talked about yesterday. I'm curious to see how that one turns out with that front loader. I'm still excited for that one. Uh, the Johnson Bale Trailer, Curveland. There was one. Where is the one I'm thinking of? Oh, there we go. So we'll keep on going down. New Holland Shredder Pack, which came out today. No, it didn't. That's the Lizard Shredder. Sorry, I got that one confused. The one I wanted to talk about is the Raba 180. So the Raba 180 and there's a Raba Steger series here. I'm not sure what the Raba Steger series is going to be, but the Raba 180. We had that in FS17 and FS15 and 13, I think, as well. And it's kind of a, an interesting... An interesting tractor. I haven't seen this one for a long time, and I'm hoping this is uh, going to make it out. It's just an interesting looking tractor. European, of course, but uh, let's see where the other one, there we go. Hopefully we see this. I hope it comes with, uh, like even in the picture there, I hope it comes with that kind of a disc harrower that goes along with it. It looks pretty cool. Um, if we move on down the line, down into console land down here, let's see, let's go down a touch further. Um, which one? Oh, the only thing that's kind of interesting that I thought on here, I mean, most of this stuff has came out from Cattle Ranch, uh, the Bergman M1 1080, I believe, is an update. The Agro 1000 series is an update. The Horse Tyranno 5 FM, I don't think we have this yet. And we have something similar. Um, it'll be nice to have that as well. I like anything Horse. Uh, we had the Horse Pack. Now, this here is the 7 FM, I believe. This is a picture of from FS15, I believe. So, hopefully, uh, it's it'll, it'll look something similar to this. I hope they go actually come over the 7 FM. I like all the Horse stuff. They can, they can keep on sending Horse stuff my way. I'll take it. I like it all. Um, other than that, most of this stuff has already come out, but here we have the New Holland T6, like I was talking about earlier. Curious to see what this is, if it's going to be similar to uh, the one we showcased there from Mod Network. Hopefully it's something like that, because that'd be nice. But we already have a T6, so hopefully it's just that. And then, of course, the uh, West Pack Decoration Hills. Not sure what that's going to be. Hopefully that's uh, that's a big pack. I'm hoping that's a big pack of decorations that we can place down. Um, 131 mods currently in testing, and seven work days is our wait time right now. But that is about it. Cool. Anyways, folks, that's going to do it for your uh, Farm Sim Show for today. Uh, that's all the new mods. That's what's being tested. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're uh, looking for more stuff, check over on the links down on the right there. There's a bunch of different stuff you can hang out with us on. Uh, we do Twitch. We do stream on Twitch. We were actually streaming on Twitch just last night after our Farm Sim stream that was here on YouTube. So uh, check us out on Twitch as well. And links are all down in the description if you guys want to come hang out. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day, and I will catch you folks all later on. Have a good one, folks. See ya.